It's an honor to speak to you all as a lay member of the diocese. As the bishop just mentioned, I just received last week an honorary doctorate from VTS. Supposedly for ministries at parish diocesan and national levels, but more especially for my national and global work as a lay person of faith leading the charge against HIV and AIDS. And I'm a past president of the National Episcopal AIDS Coalition. And we did very important work in the 1990s on stigma and discrimination in the church. And we created resolutions that were adopted by general convention that helped guide the Episcopal church and other denominations and other faiths to rise up to address HIV and AIDS. And today I'm the CEO of AIDS United, a national organization focused on ending the HIV epidemic in the US. And I take time out of my very short minutes with you to tell you these things about me because the lessons from the HIV pandemic are so relevant for us in the COVID-19 pandemic. Over the nearly 40 years of the HIV crisis, we've been teaching our people how to be safe. We've been teaching our people how to get tested. And we are very experienced at waiting for and wondering about test results for ourselves and for those who we love. And we know the suffering of facing very ugly deaths alone in ICUs and the pain of burying people who died too fast and too soon. I just commemorated this month, the 35th anniversary of my late partner's death from AIDS. And through all these years, we've advocated for medicines and a vaccine like no one had ever seen before, at least never before until now. So I'm deeply steeped in advocacy, and sometimes I'm even accused of being an activist. But those are part of the tradition and the history, not just of HIV, but they're the very core and tradition of our church. Advocacy and activism for what is needed, for what is right, and for who we should be. And there's no clear role model than that of John the Baptist. For he was the voice calling in the wilderness and showing us the way, calling us to correct what is wrong, calling us to prepare for he who is coming and calling us to create in ourselves and for each other what he who is coming calls us and wants us to be. And this year, the call in the streets has been for racial justice, for electoral justice, for health justice. And the calling, the clamor, and the clashes have been loud and divisive, sometimes restorative and sometimes destructive. Voice upon voice calling us to make straight what they believe or have known to be wrong. But who is showing us the way? The way to what and to who we should be. And that is what John the Baptist did. He was the activist and the advocate. He said that he was not the one ordained by God to save us, so was he more clergy-like or more lay? Either way, his voice was clear, calling us to correct and prepare ourselves for what is to come, to correct who we are, and prepare for where we are called to go. When the disciples asked him, but teacher, we don't know where you are going, he answered, you know where I am going, and you also know the way. 
He told us clearly where he would go. He promised that he would go, that we could go there too. And he promised that he would return. Are we prepared for all that he promised? Are we prepared for where we might go? Are we prepared for his return? Well, in less than a year, nearly half of the people who have died over the last 40 years in this country from AIDS have already died this year from COVID-19. That's 300,000 Americans who did not live to see his coming, his return. And that includes the 20,000 who died last week and the 40 who died yesterday in Maryland. And they join a million who died this year globally from AIDS. And it matters no longer to them if they were prepared for his coming but it does matter if they were prepared to go. And I know from AIDS, and now we all know from COVID that the going can happen too quickly and too soon. And that's why my brothers and sisters, to you who are clergy and we leaders who are lay, that's why we need to be both advocates and activists. In this year of clamor and clashing, of infections and death, we need to be calling not just from inside the clamor, but from outside and above it. Calling all people to correct what is broken and be prepared for who is coming and prepared for where we might go not just in Advent, but in any season and on any given day. Correct what is wrong, be prepared for who is coming, and prepared for where we might go. It is our voices needed now more than ever, with a virus swirling and with dissension mounting all around. The activists calls us to what they believe is right. And the activist, the advocate, helps us understand why. Let's be both activists and advocates. The world needs us calling to it now. If we don't, who will? That, I believe, is our lesson and legacy from the activist and the advocate whose name was John. Amen.